Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the Compounds Annual Growth Rate, or CAGA, in Excel using daily figures. The Compound Annual Growth Rate calculates the rate of return over a period of time, and it's often used to measure past performance of investments, or analyse business measures like sales or market value. In our example, we'll calculate the compounded annual rate of growth for a given company's sales. We have the fictitious sales values for the 1st of March 2010 and the 7th of March 2017. To find out what the general trend in sales was, we can calculate the CAGA. There are two methods to calculate this. Firstly, we can manually calculate the CAGA using a formula. To the right, we provide the formula to calculate the CAGA when your time frame is in years, and to the right of that, the equivalent formula if you have days instead of years. The only difference is the power, which is 365 divided by the number of days. First, we calculate the number of days between the two dates, which is simply one date minus the other. We can then use the formula. We take the ending amount, which is the amount that corresponds to the 7th of March 2017, and divide this by the beginning amount. We then close brackets and take this to the power of 365 divided by the number of days and then subtract 1. Therefore the CAGA is 3.95%. In other words, if the industry value had increased by a constant rate of 3.95% every year, then the value on the 7th of March 2017 would be £52,652. So that's how you can manually calculate the CAGA in days in Excel. However, there is a function which makes things a bit easier. This is the RRI function which was specifically introduced to calculate CAGA. The first term is the number of years, therefore we can convert our days into years by taking the difference in days and dividing it by 365 to give the number of years. We then input the present value or beginning amount, which is 40,123, followed by the ending amount which is 52,652. We can then close brackets and click enter. As you can see, this gives the exact same answer. Finally, as a comparison, we will calculate the simple percentage difference, which is the ending amount divided by the beginning amount minus one. As you can see, this gives a less representative figure than the one provided by the CAGA formula. So that's how you can calculate the CAGA using days instead of years in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.